Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. Joy of unboxing time again. Today it's Undaunted Normandy by Osprey Games. And I uh, saw the review by Shut Up and Sit Down of this one and thought I would grab it because it looked great. It is of course about uh, Normandy, D-Day landings, 1944, World War II, and it's very much um, squad based stuff and you have real people, real characters uh, in your hand of cards and um, scenario based stuff. Let's check it out. Now I highly recommend that everybody go and look at that Shut Up and Sit Down review. It was just excellent because one of the things it did was point out the fact that uh, D-Day gets a lot of coverage by World War II games and there are many other aspects of World War II, um, aspects to do with the people that were involved and um, the different battles that don't get much coverage, uh, which is a bit of a shame because there are many, many stories to be told and it's important that we're aware of them. But that said, this one's about D-Day and what do we have here? A little ad for London Special Edition. Second edition, I should say. The Lost Expedition. Oh, my friend Dylan has that one. I haven't got around to playing it. Here's our rule book. And that looks very clear. We have it. We've got some tiles here that we'll be fighting on. As I said, it's scenario based. Apparently the rules are pretty straightforward. There's a bit of deck building involved as well. There we go. There's a quick reference at the back, I noticed. But of course, I'll be making a rules summary and quick reference for you, which you'll find on the Esoteric Order of Gamers website soon when I get it done. So here we've got the scenario book. Scenarios and campaign play, starting decks, and then we get into the scenario setup. It's quite involved, really, for what it is. Look, there's, there's the different forces, no doubt. Um, lots going on there for such a little box. Now there is a North Africa version of this coming out soon, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how they take the game through different areas of the war, which is good to see. Memoir 44, of course, is, is my confirmed favourite in this particular um, genre, and it's going to be very interesting to try something else. There's the counters, more counters. Oh, a nice little insert. Again, ah, lovely insert, but no consideration for those who like to sleeve their cards, which is very frustrating because in the last few years, I very much got into sleeving my cards to protect them and also for ease of shuffling. It makes them much easier to shuffle, but damn, they've made the insert just big enough for the, the actual decks. I'll have to do my own foam core insert instead. So here appear to be the axis and got all the cards there and, and as I said it's very unusual isn't it to actually have names for these characters. That certainly brings the whole business home. So there's those. And here we've got the allies. I must admit, I'm not a huge fan of the art style. It's a bit, uh, I'm a bit naive, watercolor style. Um, but you know, it's okay. So they're the backs of those two decks. Then we've got uh, some dice. It looks like some ten-sided dice in there. And then finally the terrain tiles. And as you can see these are all double-sided. Nice artwork. All of the French countryside of course. Rivers, forested areas, all kinds of things happening there, fields, hedgerows. There you go. Well, there you have it, a very quick look at Undaunted Normandy. And it's quite hard to say, isn't it? Undaunted. Undaunted. 
It's just that N and T is just a little bit tricky sometimes. Undaunted. Yeah, anyway, back to Undaunted Normandy, and uh, that's what you get inside the box. So keep an eye on the Esoteric Order of Gamers at orderofgamers.com because, of course, I'll be doing a rules summary for your enjoyment and ease of play. Check out these social media channels. Um, please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.